Hi, you are welcome to this course on subquery. Okay, in this course, we're going to look at subquery. Subquery is one of the most important knowledge you need to acquire in SQL. Okay, unfortunately, most people shy away from subquery because a time comes that it becomes very complicated. In this course, we're going to break everything down for you to understand. I'm going to teach you from simple subqueries I will teach you nested subquery nested subqueries I will teach you correlated subquery From there, we are going to look at complex and complicated sub-queries. That is, what some people consider as what? Complex or complicated sub-queries in SQL. Okay? So, this will take us to look at this like exist with subquery that is exist with subquery we're going to look at join inner join with subqueries and many more subquery is very important look at this these are the importance of subquery understanding subquery is important because they allow you to write more efficient and effective queries okay they allow you to break down complex queries into smaller, simpler ones that can be executed more quickly and efficiently. Okay? With subqueries, you can ask multiple questions with a single query and get more accurate results. Okay? Additionally, subqueries can help you structure your data in a way that makes it easier to analyze and understand, helping you to make better business decisions. So you can see in this place, improve query performance. Subqueries can improve query performance by breaking down complex query into smaller and more manageable components, okay? Also, increase flexibility. Subqueries allow you to perform complex calculations and data manipulations, making your queries more flexible and adaptable to changing requirements. Better code organization. Break it down complex query into smaller and more manageable pieces. Subquery can make your code more organized and easier to read and maintain. Okay? This are what? Importance of what? Subquery. Finally, improve understanding of data relationships. By using subqueries to understand the relationship between data, you can gain a deeper understanding of your data and make more informed decisions about how to analyze and use it. Okay. Lastly, enhance problem solving capabilities. Understanding subquery can help you develop more creative and effective solutions to complex problems, making you a more effective database developer or data analyst, okay? So, I believe if you follow me in this journey, you are going to understand everything that you need to know in subquery. And I'm going to use all available means and methods to make you understand subquery, okay? Please note, this course is not for absolute beginners. But in the last part of this course, I will make that session optional for SQL beginners. That last session, I'm going to give you a lot of instances on how to use basic SQL select, which 
most of these sub queries we are going to look at depends on. But we are not going to do that in the beginning of this cloud because I believe you have a little understanding of what queries in SQL. But in case you don't have good understanding of queries in SQL, I encourage you to go straight to the last session of this course and look at all the instances that are what I'm going to show you, okay? Which we build you up to understand subquery better. Now, let's start subquery, okay? Let's call it beginning sub queries. Okay, now, look at this. This is a table. We are going to call this table products. Okay? Products. Okay? Let's use this one to represent products. Please note, when you see the name of a table, a table is a combination of rows and columns. That is, columns and rows. So when you see this, have in your mind the picture of what? Table. That contains what? Rows and columns. Note this. It's very important. Now, if I want to select all the columns, because it is possible you decide to select some of the columns. But if you desire to select all the columns, you do select asterisk. Asterisk represents all columns from products. Okay? This one is saying, I want you to show me all the columns. So everything in this product table will be shown to you in the result grid. Okay? Assume this is A. This is B. This is C. This is D. This is E. And I'm interested to select B and D. I will simply say what? Select B, comma, I also want D. From where do you want to select them? From where? I want to select them from where? From products. This from product is saying, I know that there are many tables in the database. Remember, if this is a database, we have different tables in that database. That means we have a single table or multiple tables. This is, for instance, product. This can be for others. This can be for employee. This could be for what? From suppliers. So the from is saying, I want BD from product table because I know it is possible that we have other tables that have these columns. So I need to tell the engine, the particular table, I want you to fetch this from. This one is saying, I want you to fetch all the columns from this table. So the from is specifying the particular table you need to select this information from. Now, now, let me now introduce subquery. I want to use subquery here to achieve the same thing. I take you here. I want to use subquery to achieve the same thing. See what I'm going to do now. I will do select asterisk from. Let me remove this from here because I don't need it anymore. Okay? From, you agree with me that this product, as I said, represents all the what? All the columns are rows. That is, if 
How do I? That is, this query, look at it as this pen. Okay? This pen. Look at this table at this pen. The query, if you run this query, you will have the table. So that means this query can represent the table. That is, if you run this query, you have all the columns and rows of products. It means, if I say products, product table can come out and represent products. If I also say products, select asterisk from products, we achieve the same thing. We come and say, I represent product because this one is the name we give to all these columns and rows. The same thing goes that this guy also represents all columns and rows. I'm not saying because two of you are doing the same thing. Instead of me putting product here, I will use you to replace product. So I come to this place and say from select asterisks from products. Okay? You see? In place of product that was here before, I use this guy to represent it. But to show that this is a subquery, I will use alias, I say as whatever, like sub. You can say sub, you can say a, you can say anything. Remember, you can remove this from here and put subdirect. SQL knows that what you are putting what? This as what? Alias. That is as sub. So this is what you are telling the system that what? This is what? A sub query. Okay? You get it? This is a sub query because what is going on is that this select, we select from what this we give to us because this guy we produce this for us, then this one we go a select from its result. Let's also apply that on this last one. That is this. How we do select? Select B, select D from instead of product, I put this from select asterisk from products then I put say sub you see this guy will give me all the columns A, B, C, D, E I am saying the result of this guy which is everything here I also want to select from his result select it from the result of another query this is the result of this query I'm not selecting from the result of this query. That is, I'm picking A and D from its result. It's allowed. That is what? Subquery. Selecting from the result of another subquery or of another select. That is, select, select. Selecting the result of another select. Okay? Ah, oh, you get it? I believe you are getting it. Now, let's run this assay if we run this now so you can see in this place we have all these columns okay with all these rows 77 rows how many columns one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so this product is a name given to this table this old table Okay, and this is saying select all the columns from this product. We can also select from another table. So you can see this is a different table. 
can also select from another table say employees another table okay let's go back to product because we use product in our example while we are what in the class what we are now seeing is we can use everything here to represent this so in place of that i'm going to put this then i put here sub to tell the system that what this is a what is sub query that is alias what sub query i can put anything there let me run this first see the same result the same thing we are getting from what from the database here supposed to be as that is alias still the same thing i can put anything here i can put a here for instance i can put d here depends on you anything you want to put so let's go back and put sub okay now we are saying sometimes it is possible that you don't want to select all the what all the columns see i just want to select few columns for instance this i want to select product name that is this column i also want to select unit price that is this column if i select this now i run it only this you see i'm selecting only two columns from this table products i am saying in place of the same products i can use this to represent it okay now if i run it now i'm still going to have the same thing okay this is what we are talking about this is what introduces sub query into our queries hope this understood let's go straight to the next class we have said we can do select unit price product name from select asterisk from products okay we put here like sub what i want to show you now is this i know that this will give me all the what columns from the columns i can select this and this from the result of this i can also write it like this instead of doing this i don't actually need all the what all the columns to select from them what i can do i will do this one as select unit price i also select product name from products i am modifying this now I am saying this guy will give me all the columns. From all the columns, I will select this and this. I'm not saying no. Don't bother. What you will do for me, give me this and give me this. Then I will come here and I say select unit price, product name from this it means that there is no wastage anymore everything you have i will still select them here you have more than i need you provided more than is what required then from the provision i select what i want but from here i am protesting say no i need just two then i will select the two again you can't even do like this. Instead of even selecting all of them, I say, okay, now I only want to select unit price from these two. Select it from the result of another query. This is what? Sub query. We are just trying to what? Build the foundation of how to what? Understand or how to view, how to view sub query. Okay. These are all the queries we saw on the board. I've explained everything here. Okay? 
let's run this as C. As we run this now, this is the result. Okay? This time, you need cons before product name. It doesn't matter. It depends on the one you put here first. That's how they will appear here. Okay? Now, what we are doing now is, these guys can see in this place, if I run only this, you see, I have everything. So, I will now select these two, that is, this and this, from this, which is everything here everything here i'm selecting only this and this okay so now i'm going to run this too you can see only these two i selected from the result of this but i am not saying this is what not economical let me just select these two as you can see here if i run this now i have this from this one from these two give it to me I can select them again. Selected these two columns from these two columns provided for us. Okay. If I run this now, still the same result. Okay. Then, as you can see in this place, I can even select all the unit price from here. Now, you, this guy, you give me this result. Okay. This is what you gave me. From what you gave me, I want to select all the unit price from here. That is this. I want to select all the unit price. Now, let's select unit price. So you can see, all the unit price is selected from here. Okay. Also, I can even say, instead of even providing unit price or product name, and I don't need this product name, what is the purpose of that? Because I only need unit price. So let me only get unit price. So you can see. From this unit price, I will select it again using this outer select. If I run this now, see the same thing. What is the purpose of all this? Just to show you the possibilities. That is how to introduce subquery into our queries. Okay? Same thing. I can come here to say, for instance, select, say product name. Supply ID from select product name supply ID from suppliers. Please note. It is because I understand the schema I'm using. That is the reason why I'm picking all this column's name, the column name. Because I understand the schema. You also need to what? Understand the schema you are using to know what you are picking, what you are looking for. Let me show you. So you can see we have all these tables. We have the region, territory, Employees territory, employees, shippers, orders, customers, order details, customer demographics, customer, customer demo, suppliers. We also have products and categories. Okay? All these are what? The various columns. Various columns. And these lines are about what? Relationships. Okay, now. Let's look at another example okay we want to look at the other details table now and i want to select the unit price from other details table i'm going to say select unit price from other details Here, I want to put an aggregate. I want to count this. Say, I put count. Okay? As you can see, I'm counting the unit prices. Or I can even use sum here. Instead of that, I put sum here. Let's sum the unit prices together. You will also agree with me that if we want to get this 
same result. That is the full table. I can do select asterisk from other details. Okay? From other details. So in place of this now, I can remove this. I put this. Then I put here, say, A. Whatever you put here now is what? The aliens of whatever I see. Here. This is also acceptable. Okay? And what I can also do, instead of putting all the columns, because I know that I am only interested in unit price, I simply do here, say, select unit price from other details. Okay? Then I put, say, sub, whatever you want to put here. Okay? So this will work. This will also work. This will also work. Okay? Now, let's run this as C. If we run this now, so you can see we have this value. $56,500. Dot ninety-one dollars. I also said that this will also work for the same purpose. Same result. We select this now. I run it. Same result. Let me show you another instance. I want to do select asterisk from other details. From here, I want to select unit price. That's it. Why this? I have this now. What if I want to select this based on other ID? Say, for instance, I say where other ID is equals to, say, 10 to 50. Okay? As you can see, after I finish selecting from here, then I filter. What if I do this? Say, select. Asterisk from. Okay, so you can see this is a normal query. Just select all the columns from this table. Then I use this to filter. I use this one to filter. Then what I've already filtered, I want to now select from it now. That is, I will now select from the filtered of this query from the feed third query, that is, select this, then I put this sub. Okay, as you can see, here, after I select from this sub query, then I filter. But here, I selected from the feed third result of this query. You can follow any method. What am I trying to establish? I am establishing that you can do all this. Whether before, after, subquery can what? Appear anywhere in your what? In your SQL query. Okay? That's what I want to establish in this class. Okay? These are two same queries. Now, after I finish selecting from here, I want to filter. Okay? Let me take this down. For this, I want to select from the filter result. Let me just put this here. Put this here. Okay? If I run this now, I have 66.90. If I also run this, I have 66.90. With this, you can see that what? If you understand what we are doing, you can use subquery a filter the way you like. Hope this understood. Thank you for viewing. Let's look at this question. It says, what are the names of customers? That is, we are looking at the customers table. Who lives in a city that starts with L? So we're going to say select. What are we selecting? We are going to select Customer's name. But what are customer's name? In this table, 
customer's name are referred to as what? They are referred to as what? Company name. In this customer's table, they are called company name. So you must use company name. As you can see here, company name. I don't know if you can see it. Let me zoom in further. Cut it, company name. Therefore, they select company name. Okay, from customers, that is the name of the table, where city, start with means what? Like, like what? Like this, that is, start with L, but anything can follow, anything can follow. Can follow. It must start with L, anything can follow. What I want us to do here now is instead of using this, let's use a subquery. In place of this guy, we are going to use in in place of this. Let me show you. I'm going to do select again. Let me draw a line here. Select. Company name from customers where okay the city in okay what I need to do now is to provide a list of companies that start with L for instance as a London. I say Lisco, if there's a, a city like this. Leo, if there are a city like this. But what we are going to do now, instead of providing this manually, I can use another select query to select all these cities with L. So instead of putting this here, let me put here and I say, Let's say here is X, okay? What we're supposed to put here, let's say is X, okay? So that means in place of this S, what we should write here now is, okay, let me just even put it straight, select city. Okay, we are selecting city because we are using this select statement to select city, city that starts with L. Okay, select city from customers from the same customers table okay where city like okay okay now you can see that what we are doing here now is this query we only help us with what list of cities that start with L. This in will not be applied on them because this one will produce list of companies or list of city that start with LL. And remember that in this with what? List of what? Items. Equal to deal with only one item. This will produce the same thing with this. Here we go straight. Here we are trying to use what? In and what? and city list. Why here we use this direct? I'm trying to introduce you to sub query. That is the reason for this, okay? Okay, these were the two queries we looked at. If I click on this now, so you can see we have this results. Let's also run this, I see. If you check it, it's still the same thing, okay? This is 30 roll. And if you run this, still what? Going to be 13 rows. And what I was telling you on the board is, if you run this now, run this now, so you can see all these results are all what? L. Okay? That is, this in is acting on this L. These are provided inside this curve 
bracket. So the in is not acting on them. Okay? Because in is meant to act on multiple items, just as I've explained. Okay? And because we use this, that is L, they all start with L because that is what the question says. So what you are seeing here now is equivalent to all this information. That is, what is here is just one colon, one colon, okay? And it's of what city? As you can see in this place, city, because we use city here. Hope this is understood. Thank you for viewing. This question says, what are the names of employees and their title who manage other employees? Let me show you something. I want to come back to this place. Okay. Let's go to employees. As you can see in this place, we have this employee ID. This employee ID is for everybody. This report to in our database, the one I gave you, the one I'm using, in place of report to, we use MGRID. Okay? In place of report to, we use MGRID. That is the only difference between this and what you have in your database. Let me show you that. If I do select this from employees, so you can see in this place, we have MGR. I don't know if you can see it. MGRID. Okay? But it's some database for non twin database. We have this as what? Report to. What is the meaning of this MGRID? That is report to. Let me explain that to you so that you understand the context of this question. Say, for instance, we have James, Mike, and Tony. We also have Anne. This one has ID of one, ID of two, ID of three, ID of four. But Tony is their manager. Let's say Tony, let's also put another one. Let's say we have another one, say Paul. Okay? Let's say Tony and Paul are managers. So under this place, we have what? Employee ID. We still have another column. Another column. This column is for manager ID, which I also told you that you can call it what? Report to. Okay? That is the only difference. Report to. Okay? This, for instance, James, assume that Tony is managing two people. That is, Tony is managing both Mike and James. Why? Paul is managing Anne. Okay? Paul is the manager of Anne. Tony manages what? This and this. Now, who is the manager of James? Is Tony. In place of James, we put three to show that this is his manager. Tony is his manager. This, who is the manager of Mike? Tony is also the manager. But for Tony, for now, he does not have a manager. Maybe later, he might have a manager. Maybe the CEO of the company is the one managing Tony. So let's also put here, for instance, let's just include that. Say, for instance, six, we have Andrew. Andrew is a CEO. So Andrew is the one managing Tony, okay? Let's say Andrew is the one managing Tony. And is also managed by Andrew. Okay? Why Paul is managed by Anne? Okay? So, as you can see, we don't have anything for Andrew because nobody manages Andrew. He is the CEO. Because he's the CEO, this place will remain null for Andrew because he doesn't have a manager. Now, this question is saying, what are the names of employees and their titles who manage other employees 
What are they asking us to find now? They are asking us to find the information of what? Of Tony, Paul, and Andrew. How do you get this information? Let's do it. We are going to say, it says what? Let's put this here. It says select the names. So we're going to do select. First name. Last name. Okay. And also the title. Title from the employees table. Okay. Where the employee ID Got it? Where this employee ID is in this place. These names, we are looking for those ID that appear here. The only way we can capture them is to select all the ID. Then the one we are going to use to match now is if the ID, we check one against all this ID. Is one here? No. So one will not be there. Is two here? No. Is three here? Yes. Three we go through. It's four there. It's like we made a mistake of putting four here because okay, this there's a mistake here because if Paul is the one managing Anne, okay, Paul is managing Anne, so therefore because of this arrow, Paul is managing Anne. Therefore, for Anne, it should have five. Okay, but this guy Andrew manages Paul, so we have to put six here because. Is the CEO. So it's five or six. Five or six. This is just instance, okay? This is just instance. Okay, now the target is ID that appear here, that also appear here. That is the target. How do we now merge it together? These are the ID on the left hand side. We are going to now get the ID on the right hand side. So we're going to say this ID in in this place. So the next thing that is, what are we going to what actually select? What are we selecting? If we say select now, whatever we are going to select here must be in the same format with this. You can come here now and select employee ID. You can also select manager's ID. That is, you come to this place, you either select employee ID or manager's ID because these numbers are the same. They have the same number. If I see 20 here and I see 30 here, they are no longer the same. This is three, it's coming from here. So I can choose this or this, but what determines the one you choose? What determines if it's employee ID? We should choose in this place or the manager's ID. Remember, our target here is that the employee ID in this column that are where that are in this manager's ID too. So we already deal with this employee ID with this query. Now, those ones that are also here in this place. So what you should select is the manager ID from the same employees table, okay, where where what? As long as the manager's ID is not null, because we are not interested those that are null, like this is null. We are not interested in that, okay? Anyone that is null, we are not interested. Where the, the manager's ID is not null. I believe you understand it. Just understand, we are picking the employee's ID. Those one that will be selected, their employee ID must be equal to the manager's ID. Because if I'm a manager and my number is six, for instance, I'm number six in employee's ID, is the same number six that we see appear in manager's ID. Though that is my employee ID, it's not the employee ID that makes me the manager. It's 
the appearance of that ID in the manager's column, manager's column, that is manager's ID column, that makes me what? The manager of somebody. Okay? Look at it. Select this from where? From the employee's table. If we run this now, you see, we have all the names of what? All the employees with their titles. But we don't want all of them. We want those that are managers, those that are managing orders. We now say where the ID on this side is the same thing with the manager's column. Okay? Where they are not known. If we run this now, so you can see these are the names of what? Of the managers that are what? Managing orders. So you can see CEO, the vice president says, sales manager, and sales manager. Look at them. Okay? This question says, what are the names of territories that are assigned to employee with ID5? Okay, let me show you. Let's come back to this place. As you can see in this place, this is employee territories. Why this is what territories? Territories, as you can see, has what? Territory ID, territory description. The only thing that will be useful to you here, majorly, is the territory description. That is the name of the territory. So this simply means the name of the territory, territory description. So this table is meant to what? To hold descriptions. It's meant to what? To put together. That is the place you get the names of description. Okay? On this other table is where you put the employee ID and the description ID. That means if your name is James and your ID is 2, your Two will be here, and the ID of your territory will also be with you. Assume the ID is 30 or 5. So it means that this person, which is ID 2, has a territory ID of, say, 3 or 4 or 30. But we want the name, we want the name of what? Of this territory for employee that have been assigned to territory. Not all the employees this time, we are interested in one particular employee whose ID is five. Which territories have been assigned to this employee whose ID is five? What are the names of the territory? And in the table, we have seen that what? What they use to describe the names of territory is territory description. So if we're going to do this now, we're going to say select, select, territories okay where the territory ID because this place what you can find here now because we are still here we are still here this territory ID we are still here so we are going to move from here this territory ID we also connect us to this territory ID in this table so this territory ID in territories, we move up to territory ID in employees' territory. Okay? So we're going to do where territory ID, okay, in the territory ID in territories, in territory ID in, in employees' territories. So come to this place now. So select. This also territory ID from employee terri territories. Okay, employees territories. Now let me take you back because you need it. We started from here that we need to select this description 
After selecting it, we need this territory ID where this territory ID in this table is in territory ID in this table. That is territory ID in this table. Okay? But now we have employee ID here, which we are going to use for the five given to us. This connect us to this so that we can have access to the two tables. We now use this employee's ID to connect it to the information given to us. That is, now we select this territory ID in this table because these two will link together to be able to work with this table and this table. But where the employee ID in this table is equals to five. Okay, now, I'm gonna select the territory description from territories where the ID in this place is seen the territory ID in employees territories where the employee ID is equals to five. Let's run and see. So you can see these are the territories information. If we don't want duplicate, we can put here distinct, distinct. And if we run now, so New York is now one, okay? So they are the territories that are assigned to what? The employee with ID five, okay? What are the names of categories that have product with unit price greater than 20? What are the names of categories? Let's go to categories table. So it is between names of categories and the price of products. Okay. You come to this place now. You agree with me that this table is housing category names. Okay. Why this table is housing the price of products. It means that this work is going to be between product and categories. That is, this query we are about to write is going to be between the products and the categories. But where do we start from? What is the question saying? The question says, what are the names? We are going to start from the table that is housing the name that keeps the name for us. You can check this place now. Categories is what is what keeping the names for us. Once we get categories now, we get the name from categories, who we connect to this table is the category ID. Because the category ID is here, the category ID is also here. So we're gonna say the category ID in category ID in this place. So we can have access to this price. This is meant to connect the two tables together. We need this information. We need this information. Before we can have access to this information, this is like what? The bridge we need to go through to arrive in this place. Okay? Now, we're going to say select Kati go rename from categories okay where category id that is the bridge category id in because i'm expecting multiple categories on the other side in select category id Remember, category ID is linking me to category ID on the other side, okay? From this category is the category in products table. From products, now we are in products, we have access to the price. Where the unit price, according to the question, is greater than 20. Look at it very well. I believe you are getting it. Okay? Now, let's look at that. Select category name from categories where category ID 
in this other side okay where we can have access to the unit price let's run a c so you can see these are what the results okay look at this one say what are the names of suppliers that supply products whose price is above 100 first we are looking for this information and this information we are told is inside the supplier's table and the products with price that is this is between suppliers and products table let's go for it name name in supplier's table and price in products table names in supplier's table okay let's go for it so you can see in this place this is name inside supplier's table that we are asked to get okay for this product side is the unit price we want to use to do the filtering it means it's between this table and this table the next thing you should ask yourself is there product id here no product id that means we cannot use product id to do the bridge we ask ourselves is there supply id here the supply id here the supply id so this supplier id are going to be the bridge between the two tables so we are going to start from here because actually we are looking for the name then we are going to use this price to do the filtry okay let's see I'm going to say Remember that in this place is company name, not supplier name. Must follow what is there. They say company name, not supplier's name. Company name. That is exactly what we are going to write here. Going to write, select company name from suppliers. That is the name of the table. We are, remember, it is supply ID, as we, have, as we have established, that is going to act as a bridge, the supply ID, supply ID, supply ID. So we're going to say where the supply ID, where supplier ID in, okay, in, where are we going to? We are going to the product side. Select supply ID from product. Product now we're in products, we have access to what to the price because supply product whose price is above 100. So, where unit price is greater than 100. I believe you understand this subquery. Okay, now let's run this as C. Okay, so you can see we have these two suppliers. Okay, these two suppliers. Okay, look at this. It says, What are the names of products that have never been ordered? Products that have never been ordered. For you to be ordered as a product, the product ID must appear in order details table. Because unless you are ordered, you cannot be among other details. Let me show you. This is products. It's not between product and other details. As you can see, this is product ID, product ID. This product ID represent products that have been ordered. Product ID should only be here. Should only be here. For you to be here, it means you have been ordered. So, we are going to get the names of the product. We use this bridge to connect to this bridge. Connect these two. Before what? We can achieve our aim. Let's see. Going to say select what was used is it product name let me see again product name okay 
select product name, select product name from products where product ID in select product ID again from okay from other details okay so select product name from products where product ID in this place but the question says that have never been ordered this is they have been ordered just as I explained on the board but we are saying not in this place so let's first of all check in this place if we run this now so you can see these are all the ordered products let's see if there is any product that has not been ordered so you can see in this place there is no product that have not been ordered in our database okay look at this one it said what are the names of employees who have never had any order employees are meant to what to receive orders somebody calls hello i want to place an order for pizza for instance if you are an employee and you receive order how do we know your id should appear in orders table because your id is attached to the order you have what received you have taken okay so that means this is between employees table and others table let's see is between employees table okay between employees table and others table so what will be the bridge now for you as employee ID to appear in others table it means you have received order so we're going to start from here we use this other bridge to connect the two together but if you have not be here we say not in this place instead of in say not in not in so we're going to come to this place select say first name let's also say last name from employees okay we're employee id not in this place not in on not on the other side in not in this place select employee id from orders okay that's all if you are not here you have not what received any order we caught you you are just wasting the company resources so you need to be what asked to leave okay but please know that this is orders that is the name of the table okay so let's investigate and see if there is any employee that has not received any order let's run and see so you can see there is no employee and if you check without not can see all the employees all have what receive orders no employee who has no what taking any order okay this one says what are the names of employees who are in the same region as employee with id2 employee with id2 that is region names of employee where can we see this information region name of employees okay let's see we come to employees table we can see the names of employees here is there any region region that means we are going to remain here because the two information we are looking for they are in the same table okay it means after we get the names from this table we are going to use this region and again this region again where the employee id is what equals to two let's see what i'm talking about now we can going to say select select first 
first name, last name from employees. Okay. Where region in the same employees table because we need this region a region in the same employees table. So select region again from the same employees table. Okay, see the connection now within the same table. But now can us do this to say where employee ID is equals to two. Okay? The same table. Just assume that this is another table. Your mind, just assume that it's a table divided into two. Okay? Close to the region, we have the ID. So because we are going for the ID, okay? The same thing, the same thing, just as I explained on the board. Let's run and see. So you can see these are the names of employees with the same region with this employee. Okay. So if actually we put region here now, you'll be surprised that they have what? WE. So what we can still do, we can still ask for their employee ID. You can see these are all their IDs. And as you can see in this plate, this guy with ID 2 is also here. That is Don Funk. They all have the same region. Okay? This one says, what are the names of territories that are not assigned to any employee? Names of territories. That is, is about territories, territory, territories. Name of territory, that is also what? Territory description. We have seen that before, okay? That is, we're going to select territory description from territories, okay? So, but what we carry us to the other side? Let's see. We have territory description. The territory ID will carry us to this place. So we're going to use not in, not in this place, instead of in this place. Okay? So we're going to use this where the territory ID, not in territory ID, in employees' territories. Because this employees' territory is where the ID of employees that have been assigned to territory are kept. Okay, so come to this place. See, where territory ID not in select still territory ID from employee territories. Okay, this means if you are a territory and you don't find yourself here in employee's territory, it means that territory with this ID represent has not been assigned to any employee. Okay, what we need to do now, we have to what, run this exactly what we saw on the board to see if there is anything like that if we run this now so you can see we have we have territory that have not been assigned to what employees okay these are the territories okay it says what are the names of employees who have at least one order with threat greater than 50 at least one order at least one order what it means is that these employees in employees table, for you to have order at all, you must be in order's table. That is, your ID should be there. Once we confirm that your ID is there, 
we further use the fret to streamline it to see if it is greater than 50. So what we need to do now, let's, let's still go back to this schema. Look at employees and what? And others. Employees, I this here. And look at fret here. Okay? So once we connect with the ID, the ID of this and ID of this, we use this to what? To filter further. So we are going to come from here, go to this place because we are going for filtry. But this guy will carry us through this place until we land in this place. Let's go. Okay, now we say select first name because we are looking for the names of the employee, last name from employees, where the employee ID in select employee ID from others where Fred is greater than 50. Okay, I believe you understand this. Okay now, so let's go ahead now and run this code and see the output. If we run this now, so you can see we have these employees. Okay, these employees. At least Fred is what? More than what? 50. Look at this question. It says, what are the names of suppliers that supply products of category seafood? This is between names of suppliers and category seafood. Let's go and check where we can get names of suppliers and this category seafood, okay? Names of suppliers and category seafood. Names of suppliers are category seafood. You can see now, these are names of suppliers. This is where we find categories. Okay? And this is the category name where we can locate seafood. Category name where we can locate seafood on this categories table. But this is where we get the suppliers names but there is no connection between these two because if you look at this supply id it's not even here category id is not here so how do we come to this place let's check if there's connection between this and this here categories id categories id is there connection between these two supply id supply id good so we are going to use this three tables because we can use when we come from here, this guy we had as a bridge, I carry us to this place. Once we are here, this category ID we had as a bridge, I carry us to this place. We now have access to what? The category names. Where we can do what? Where we can further do the filtry. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Start from where? Suppliers. Then we go to categories through products. Okay. We start from here, so select company name, because that is what they use in suppliers table. Okay, from suppliers, where the supplier ID here, supplier ID here, in where? Yeah. Supply ID here. Supply ID here is in product. That is supply ID in product. Okay? Supply ID in product. Supply ID in product. That is select. Supply ID in product. Okay? The supply ID in product. Where what? So what we carry us now from products to where we are going to? What we carry us is the category ID, okay? 
So it's the category ID when I, that will carry us now to our final destination. See? Where category category ID okay? Category ID in where we are going to is a category stable. That is select again category ID from categories okay what is our final target now is the categories name because that is what they use categories name that is where we are actually targeting where what where categories name is equal to seafood Hope I'm correct. Is it seafood? Yeah. Seafood. Yeah. Seafood. Okay. Hope you understand the flow of this subquery. Okay. That is the flow. You move until you arrive at your final destination. I'll do whatever you want to do. Okay. Now, let's run this and see. Let's run and see what we have. Okay. As you can see. These are the suppliers. These suppliers. Okay? This one says, what are the names of customers who live in the same city as customer with ID 5? Customer, customer, customer. The first thing now is we need this information between customer and city. Okay, if we go to customer table, is there city there? If there is no city, it means we need to move to another table to find city. Okay, let's see. So we need the company name, which is the name of the customer. We also need city. Yeah, there's city here. So we are going to remain here. We are going to remain here. But we are going to use this three information because ID will do the fee tree. City will do the connection. This is the name we are looking for. Okay, let's do that. Using sub query so gonna do select company name from customers where city in select city from customers where customer ID is equal to five. Okay, this is it. Using sub query within the same table. We did the same table. So it's a city that is our bridge because the target is actually between the customer's name and the ID. Definitely, this particular customer, they live in the city. The customer of ID5 also live in the same city. See, city twice. These customers, they are living in this city. These customers, they are living in this city. There's another customer living in that same city. See, city, 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 city. So, city is mentioned twice. That's how to reason these subqueries, okay? The same query. Let's run and see. So, you can see. So this is a customer, only one customer. What this simply means is this particular customer does not share this city with another customer. That is, we don't have any other customer in this city apart from or aside this customer. If there were many, all of them will be listed for us, okay? Look at this one too. What are the names of employees who have the same manager as employee with ID5? They have the same manager. So we don't need to check the table because we already we have already seen this that employees have a table and all this information are there. We are looking for this information. This is our target, but the manager's ID. Remember, group of employees. Okay. There is another employee that's with ID5. Okay. This employee has a manager. 
these other employees, they have the same manager. They are sharing the same manager with this. Now we have four information. Names of employees, okay? We are going to use to get the name of the employee, but we are talking about manager twice now. Managers twice. Manager twice. So it means that within the same table, manager is going to be our bridge, okay? To connect the dots. Okay, let's go for it. Going to do select. First name. Last name from employees where the manager's ID in select the manager's ID from employees where the employee ID equals to five. I believe you understand this. Just the same thing like what we treated before here. That is here. What we did here. Okay. So you can see this is exactly the same query I wrote on the board. Let's run this as C. If I run this now, so you can see two employees. What I can do is to pull the ID, let's say the manager ID, to see if actually their manager ID are the same. So you can see they both have the same manager's ID. Okay? But this employee that is ID 5, we can actually check if it is Judy or Esben that is of ID 5. So, ID. So you can see is this guy that has this ID, but they are sharing the same manager. Okay, you remember I gave you this before that is for customers sharing the same city. Okay, customers sharing the same city. But unfortunately, we only got one. That means this customer is not sharing this city with any other of our customers. Although there are many people in this city, it's only this customer that we have in this city. So it's similar with this, looking at what? People sharing the same manager. Although we are not asked to get all this, I'm just using that to what to explain this to you. Hope this understood. Thank you for viewing. Let's look at this. It says, what are the names of products that have a other level of zero and are in the same category seafood seafood okay we need the product names we are going to categories for the fee tree we are seeing hardly level here and categories so category product reordry okay let's go for it categories Categories, categories, this will a pause. Categories, this will a pause. This is reordering, it will a pause. Product name, we see a pause. Okay, so we are going to concentrate between these two tables. We get the product name, who is going to connect the two together is the category ID, okay? But we have two information here. We're going to use both the reordering level and the category ID to do what? Our feature. Okay? Product name. Select product name from products. Okay, where, what do they say? The only level, the other level is equal to zero and logical and. And we are talking about category 
ID in select category ID. Okay. From categories where category name is equal to seafood. Okay? This is how to do it. So let's see I goes. So I can see the same thing. The same thing. Let's run and see. If we run now, so you can see no information. That is, there is nothing like that. What is affecting this is because of this reorder level. Because if we check the system now for this alone, you see, there's nothing like that. If we check this, you find that what? Okay, let's put hysteric here just to show you something. If I run this now, let's check reorder level. See, all the reorder level, as you can see in this place, they are all null. Null. So if we put no here, the other level is no. Then we come back to this place with um, the product name. See, we have a lot of information now because we are using no in this place. But the question say equals to zero. But because there's no reorder level that is equals to zero, that's why we are having naughty return to us although our query is perfectly okay what you must put at the back of your mind is not all the time you will be having results there are some time you will not have any result but as long as there is no error here know that what you are correct for instance let's create an error here if i run this now see there's an error means it's wrong but as long as there's no error and you know what you are doing doesn't mean that what you are not correct you are sick correct just that what what you are searching for is not available okay look at this it says what are the names of suppliers that have the same country as supplier with id5 so as you can see in this place we are talking about names of suppliers country and you will agree with me that all this information, we all find them in the suppliers table, both the IDs. So all we're going to do now is to say, we need, let me show you, we need the suppliers information. Okay. We are talking about the ID, the suppliers name. They live in the same country. Okay. So all the information needed are still in this same table okay therefore we are going to say select company name is the name of supplier can i will do it as company name as supplier name if you want to do it like this okay use the alliance okay we are the country of this supplier okay is the same country with these other suppliers okay it's equals to select country from suppliers we did not put from here we should put from suppliers okay from suppliers we are the supplier ID is equal to 5. So you can see, this alone will give us the country of this supplier whose ID is 5. Once we have this country, then these other guys want to see if their country are the same with this country of this supplier. Okay? Okay, now. It says select company name. As what supplier name, okay. You have seen all this, I've explained everything here, okay. Let's run and see. If we run now, as you can see, we have this person. It is possible that this guy, that is this supplier, is also the owner of this ID. It is possible, okay. It is possible. 
because it is simply helping us with all the names of the suppliers that have country name with this supplier so as soon as this supplier the country name of this supplier is usa who are the other suppliers with this supplier that are living in usa so if they are more than one both the owner of this id and the other suppliers will all be listed here i can prove it to you that this supplier is actually the owner of this id because if there is another supplier who is living in this same country with this supplier with id5 they should all be listed here including the supplier that has this now let's see what i'm saying to do that let's simply say select company name let's also get supplier id okay where country is equals to let's also get country okay where supplier id is equals to five let's just get this see the same person id five because i know if actually there were more than one that live in spain that is supplier that live in spain definitely they will all be listed here for only one to be listed here it means it's still the same supplier we are referring to so in our company the only supplier we have in spain is supplier with id5 okay let's try id1 okay we have one supplier there let's try the two what we're gonna do we're gonna put countries as equals to spain okay you will see that it's only one supplier that live in spain this is capital letter see only one so i saw that germany they have more than one see germany has more than one now let's use this id now id 11 to check our query so that you understand better what i'm trying to say as you can see this zpyvs is the owner of a level even when we are listing all these other guys this one will also be included let me show you let's all do to where we started from so let's use 11 okay let's use 11 here see aside that we are getting this we are also getting for this so if we remove this and go back as if this question says with supply id 11 you see that we have three of them that's why i was telling you that what for us to have just one supply in our result it means that it's only one supplier that lives where that lives in spain so let's go back to the original question we are given five only this guy lives in spain okay look at this it says what are the names of territories that are assigned to employees who have the same title as employee with id5 so you can see names of territory names of territory is required then we go to employee id title between territories and employees table between territories and employees table between this territory and employees table so we need one two theory table because we need to pass through here to come here okay it means we're going to start from here then we come a fitter with this title Okay, now I'll be able to push it down to this place. I'm here now. This is what? Territory ID in 
employee's territory. From employee territories. Okay, where okay, the employee ID because the employee ID is actually here, okay? Where this employee ID is the same with the one that is here, okay? Because the question says that what? There's employee ID here. So now, because we arrive at the table where the employee ID is, and employee ID is given to us, we are going to use equal to now, okay? Equal to. So where this employee ID is equal to, select employee ID from employees. Okay, let's see the question again. What are the names of territory assigned to employee who have the same? I'm so sorry, see? That's why it's good to understand the question. Who have the same title? The same title. The same title. It means, therefore, we have not actually arrived at where we are going to. So here we be in, in employee ID in this employee's territory, in employee ID in employee's table, okay? Where is now we come to title? Where title is equal to same is equal to select title from employees table. Where what is given to us is the ID employee ID. Where the employee ID. is equals to 5. Okay? Hope you understand the flow. We start from territories. We move to employees territory. We move to employees table. When we are in employees table, we do the fit tree. We start with the title. Also fit out with what? The employee ID. Because in the question, the word same title and employee ID were given to us. Okay now? So as you can see in this place, we have the same query just as we have seen on the board let's run out because see we have all these territories that's what we have okay all these territories okay let's still look at this at this time if i were you was you see this question you pause the video you work on it the worst i finish you compare my result with your result or you compare my query with your query Okay, this is example and also an exercise for you to what to use. Okay, now what are the names of products that are supplied by supplier that have the same company name as supplier ID? That means we should start from product and go to supplier's table. Going to start from product and go to supplier's table. Product, there's a link between these two. Okay, this is a link. That is the supplier ID. Okay, but we need the names. Okay, now let's start. Select product name. Okay, from products where supplier ID in select supplier ID from suppliers okay now that we are in suppliers we can stop now to use this information same company and supplier ID to do the fit tree. So where company name is equal to select company name from suppliers where supplier ID is 
is equal to 5. Okay? Just as given to us in this question. This is easy. If you are be following me from the beginning of this class. Okay? Let's run this as C. Okay? Let's run this. Then we see the result. So, can see, we have these two products. Okay? What are the names of customers who have placed orders for products that are supplied by suppliers who live in the same city as supplier with ID5? It means it's between customers and suppliers. So, between customers and suppliers. So, it means, therefore, we are going to start from customers and go to suppliers. It means the journey will take us from suppliers, we go to others, from others, we go to other details, from other details. We move to product because there's no ID that is vision between other details and suppliers. So from here now, we come to this place, okay? So it's a log journey. So from customer to others, okay? From customers to others. Okay? Gonna say select customers. Customer name. What was the thing they use for customer name? That is company name, okay? It's also company name, okay? Company name. As, co as customer name, okay, from customers where the customer ID, which is in customer table, in select customer ID from others, that is others table, okay, where from others table, now we go to other details, where other ID in select other details. Sorry? Select other ID. Other ID from the other details table. Okay? Where? The reason why I'm using this method, I just want this here to be on the same line. Okay? Or like the one I did before where I go like this, okay? Now, I just want it to be like this, okay? Where, this time, select other ID from other details. Where, what are we going to use now? Between other details are what? Let's see. It's between other details and products, okay? That is the product ID here and product ID here, okay? That is now product ID in select product ID from products. Okay. We are from products. We are going to what? From products, we are going to suppliers. Okay. So that is supplier ID now. So, we are supplier ID in select supplier ID from suppliers. Okay? So, you can see now, we have arrived at the table of suppliers. Now, we can deal with issue of city. Where city... Okay, where city is equals to select 
city from suppliers. Okay? Can come here to say where the ID is supplier ID is equal to five. Okay? Or I can remove it from here to say where the supplier ID is equal to five. Okay? If I get the city of this supply ID that is equal to five, whatever city that it gives us should match the city, then we go backward to get the customers, okay, who have placed order for products that are supplied by suppliers who live in the same city as supplier with ID five. Okay, hope this is clear. Now, let's look at this. If we run this now, so you can see, we have these results of company names. That is our customers. So I say company name as customers. Okay. Look at this. I believe you can do this. You should try it before we continue. It says, list the names and unit prices of products that have never been ordered by any customer. That have never been ordered by what? Any customer. Names are unit price of product. Okay. Select product name unit price from the product table that's product where okay now for you to be ordered that product is ID must find its way into order details table because the product that are ordered we find them in order details table okay so where this product id okay and not in not in select product id Okay, product ID from other details. Because all these product ID in other details, they are product that have been ordered. So if this product ID is not here, it means that what? You have never been ordered by any customer. Therefore, we are going to get your name, we get your unit price according to the question. Okay, let's run and see. So you can see, nothing like that. There is no product that has never been ordered. Let's check those that have been ordered. So you can see, almost all the products have enter order the taste table. That is, no product has it be what? Ordered. Okay. It says, what are the names of territories that have never been assigned to any employee? Okay? One thing you should note is, in this place, this is the territory, territories table. Okay? These are for the employees. This is a joining point between this and this. We need the names of territories that have not been assigned to any employee. For you to be assigned to employee, that territory ID must find its way into this employee's territory because this is the place we are doing the assignment. If your ID is here, it means what? You have been assigned to a territory. If your territory ID is here, it means that what? That territory, that territory has been assigned to what employee? Therefore, we get the name of the employee and say that what? Any ID that is not here, that is not in employee's territories, it means that what? That ID has not been what? Assigned to what? To any employee. Okay? Let's see. Okay? 
Okay, from territories where the territory ID okay, not in select territory ID from employee territory territories okay okay if this id is not in this table because this we fetch ids from this table as long as this id that are here you this id you are not one of them not one of them we need to get the names of those territories okay now select territory description from territories where territory id not in this let's run and see okay this are what the territory that have will be assigned to any employee let's remove this not just to check those assigned so you can see all these are all assigned okay okay hope this understood thank you for viewing list the name and contact title of customers who have never placed any order let me show you between customers and others is here if you come to others table we have this customer id any customer id that find its id inside this table it means that that customer has placed an order if you have not placed an order your id cannot be found that is in orders table therefore we need to do the connection between these two to get those what customer that are not here whose id are not here select company name as customer name we also want the contact title what is that contact title contact title okay contact title also contact title from customers where customer id not in select customer id from orders okay if this id is not here it means that what you have not placed any order so we need to get your name and the contact title according to the question okay now let's run this as see you can see we have two customers with their contact titles okay that is this ones have not placed any order okay. all this one have all place orders hope you understand what you are doing okay this one says list the names of employees who have never been assigned to any territory you are an employee your id is not in employees territory that is if you come to this place now if you are an employee your id is not here it means that what you have not been assigned to any territory or a territory has not been assigned to you okay select first name last name from employee where employee id not in select 
employee ID from employee territory, territories. Okay? So if your ID is not part of this ID in this table, it means you have not been assigned to what? To any territory. Now, let's try and see. So you can see there is no employee that has not been assigned to any territory. So you check here, all these employees, all of them, both the CO, they all have territories. Okay? They all have territories. Look at this. It says, list the names of products that have been ordered by customer who have placed orders in the year 2008. Okay, products ordered by customers in 2008. That is between products and orders. Okay, to get the date you place order, we go to order date in this table. Okay, and we are coming from product. We need to go through order details before we arrive here. So we're going to start from here. Okay? We need the product name. Select product name from products where the product ID in select Select product ID from other details. Okay. Where other ID, because other ID is between other details and others. Okay. In select other. ID from others. Okay. Now let's go to the questionnaire. The question says the orders were placed in year 2008. That is the order date. Where order date is equals to year 2008. But we agree with me that if you go to this column, you will see something like the 2008, for instance, 02 01 000 and so on and so forth. But the question says 2008. That means it's only the year part we are interested in. Therefore, for you to get this right, you must tell the system that is the year I am giving to you. The year of what order date? Okay, that's what I want to what specify in this place. With this, you are good to go. Okay, this is a query. Let's run this query as see. So you can see in this place we have all these product names. They were all what ordered in two eight two o eight. Let me put like 2024. You see, there is no order placed in the year 2024. I'm just trying to give you a date that is not in the database. Okay? Hope this understood. Thank you for joining. Okay, so list the names of employees who have been assigned to the same territory as employee with ID5. Okay, this is employee. This is the place of the assignment. It means it is going to be between this and this. So we select first name, last name from employees where the employee ID. 
In with this now, we match this with select employee ID from employee territories. Okay? Now, I want to ask you, how do we go from here? Think, how do we go from here? Okay? Now, I want to understand this. This is talking about same ID. Same ID, not same territory. The question says same territory. This is just say that this ID in this employee's table, they should find themselves in employee's territories. Means that what? They have been assigned. So what you have done now is just saying these IDs have been assigned. Just assignment, not issue of same territory. You must put that at the back of your mind, not issue of same territory. So to evolve territories, we must use the territory ID. Okay? So come to this place now, say, where territory ID in same territory now. Select territory ID from employee territories where employee ID is equal to five. Okay, equals to five. I don't know if you understand. So now, same ID means that you have been assigned. This is talking about assignment. You have been assigned with a territory. But what about this territory? Same as the territory of this guy. This is the same side. This is about same. Same. With this guy. With five okay let's run this as c so you can see we have steep bunk it's only steep bunk that is in this place because if there was another person with steep bunk definitely we have all of them listed look at it, it says list the names of products that have been ordered by customers who have placed orders with a fret cost greater than 50. We're going to start from products. If you are familiar with the tables or with the schemas, we start from products. We go to order details. From other details, we go to orders. Okay? Select product name from products where the product ID in select product ID from other details. Where other ID in select other ID from others where okay now let's come here now where the fret the fret cost is greater than 50 where fret is greater than 50 okay so let's go ahead and run this and see what we have can see we have all these what product names okay let's look at this it says list the names of employees who have a manager with the last name funk okay no problem select first name last name from 
employees table where where what this is the place you need to think where where what these employees if you check their mg outside they have managers the same managers if you go to that column that is the last column or one of the last columns, this MGRID column, there is a number assigned to their manager showing that what well, these employees are being managed by this guy. But the number that I see, let's say assume is eight, for instance, is the employee ID of Funk. Funk is the manager, he has employee ID. Because he's managing people, his employee ID was put here for people that he is managing. You understand? So, what you are going to get now is to target the manager ID of this guy. So, I'm going to say, where the MGR ID, the MGR ID in select employee ID okay from employees see their managers ID is also what the employee ID of this guy where last name Cost to funk. Okay? As you can see, this one alone will give us what? The ID of funk. Assume is it. We are saying if you also search for the manager's IDs of this guy, you are going to have it. So that's what we are connecting. Hope you understand it. Okay? Let's run this as you can see these are the guys. Liu and Bunk. Okay? Suppliers are customers. Suppliers are customers. Look at the journey we are going to take now. The journey is going to start from here. We come to this place. We go like this. We move to this place. We come to this place. Then when we arrive here, we use this to filter, that is, this name to filter. Let's start. We need the supplier's name. Okay, the supplier's name comes as company name in our table. I can say as suppliers or supplier name. Okay, from suppliers okay where the supplier id in select supply id from products where Product ID in select product ID from other details where order that is order ID in Select other ID from others where the customer ID. So I'm doing it, I'm picturing the tables. That's why I can easily write it like this. I'm just looking at the table the way they are. I'm just moving. Okay? 
from customer ID. So now, what we get here now, because when we are in orders, the next table is customer's table. And the question says, who we'll supply product to customer of this? So we have to use equal to now. That is, we have arrived at where we want to go. Because it's just a single customer, not many customers. The suppliers, they might be many. They have been happy not to supply products to our customers. But we want the suppliers that have supplied to just one customer. So when we arrive, at the customer's table, it must be just one customer because we are referring to a single customer. Because we are referring to a single customer, we have to use equal to. Equal to select customer. Okay, let me even check what is there. Customer ID, sorry, because customer ID, no need to check that. Customer ID, customer ID, from customers where customer name. But the customer name we have is company name. Where the company name so is equal to customer. What is that? GCJLG. G C J S G. Okay. G C J S G. You see the way it is? The flow? Okay. Until we arrive there. Hope this understood. Thank you for viewing. Okay. This is a query again. Let's now run a C. These are what? The suppliers. They have efforts to supply products to this customer. Okay? Look at it. It says, list the names of customers who have placed an order for a product with a unit price greater than $30 between customers and products. It means, if you remember the flow, let me just show us again. We are going to start from customer, we go to orders, we go to order details, we arrive here, okay? Name of customer, select company name from Customers, where customer ID in select customer ID from others, where other ID in select other ID from other details where product ID. Now we are coming to the product now. Should we use equal to or in? Remember the question says product with unit price greater than this. Okay? Because there's possibility that the product, though they say a product, a product, but I'm not sure if it's likely going to be a product because we are using greater than. Greater than can produce more than one. So I'm going to use in. In select Product ID
Unit price is greater than 30. Okay, now let's run this assay the output. So you can see we have several customer names. Okay, look at this. It says list the names of employees who have a territory in Western. Please note for you to be successful and to be very good with queries, you should understand the content of your schema, the flow, and all the necessary columns. This is saying employee at Western. Western is about what region? Okay, so between the territory and the region, what is the connecting column? Mm. The connecting column is the region ID. Okay, um, is the region ID. So, Finally, finally, we have arrived in our destination. That is the region. We are now in region table, where we see this as region description. So very easy, where region description is equals to Western. See, we are region description is equals to Western. Okay, okay. Now, this is the query, just as you have seen on the board. Now, it is time for us to run the query. I see, so you can see we have only two employees that is Russell and Paul. Okay, list the company names of customers who have placed orders for product in the Bridges category. Let's see. Customers to this place, we go to this place. That is one, two, three, four, five. Five tables. That is a journey we are going to take from customers to categories. I said company name, you can also put contact name because we also have contact name in this column. That is the contact name in each of our customer's company. That is the person we talk to. Customer ID from others, where other ID in
It's other details. Sorry, other details. Where the product ID in select product ID from products where category ID is equal to because the category ID is going to be just one category for privileges. But we can still use in. We are still going to achieve the same result because in can deal with one or more what items. But equal to is just for one. So whether you use in, use equal to here, doesn't matter. Still going to have the same answer. Okay? I'm going to see now select category category ID. Okay, because that's what we are here for. From categories where category description is equal to beverages. Okay? This is what? Our result. Our query. If you run this now, you will get what? The name of customers who have placed orders for product in the beverages categories. Okay? Hope you are catching up with what we are doing. Okay? This is a query. This is a query. Okay. Company name from customers, customer ID, orders, other ID, other details, product, products, table, category ID, categories, and here, privileges. We run now, we have all these customers. Okay? okay. Look at this. It says list the names of suppliers who supply products that have been ordered by customers in London. If I were you, you try it before you view the solution. So just be taking the rest of this part of the course as your exercise. Just pause the video, then you come back and continue to view the solution. Okay? Let's see. We are going to start from suppliers. Going to start from suppliers. From suppliers, we move to products. From suppliers, we move to products. We move to other details. We move to others. We move to customers. So that we can fit out with the city of London. Okay?
Okay? City is equals to London. Okay? I believe you understand this, the flow. We start from the supplier's table, we move to customer's table, I use CT to do the fee tree. Okay, this is a query we wrote on the board. Okay? Let's go ahead now around this. So you can see these are the suppliers. Hope this understood. Thank you for viewing.